Hey everyone. There is a new hero released in Brazil server, and she is called Wildheart. She is a tank, but only suitable as a jungler. Her skill mechanics revolves around jungle monsters. Wildheart's main strength is in team fights and providing support utility for the team. Now let's talk about her passive ability. Wildheart's passive skill is called Mountain Encounter. This replaces her Smite Battle spell with a new release spell. When Wildheart releases jungle monsters, she gains gold and XP as normal. But now, the released monsters will also aid her in battles. The monsters will gain movement speed and attack whatever enemy Wildheart is attacking with basic attacks. This allows her to have extra allies joining her in fights. However, the monster allies only deal 50% of their normal damage to towers. The other part of her passive is that her basic attacks with her slingshot only deal 75% of physical damage. So she trades some damage on her basic attacks for the ability to recruit jungle monsters to her side. There is an indicator on the display to show how many monsters you released. Based on the number, they will evolve into bigger monsters and stronger passive skills. Wildheart's first skill is called Wild Growth. She sows a field on the ground in a target area. This field provides buffs to Wildheart and her teammates, while debuffing enemies. Allies in the field gain 30% movement speed to help them chase or escape. They also recover some health every half second, giving sustained healing. Wildheart herself gains double healing inside the field. She also gains 30% attack speed to deal more damage. Her summon jungle monsters also gain these buffs, making them even more formidable. Enemies caught in the field are slowed by 10%. If they remain in the field for 3 seconds, they will also become immobilized for 1 second. Wild Growth's passive effect is that whenever Wildheart releases 2, 4, or 6 lizards from the jungle, she will summon an additional small, medium, or large lizard to fight for her. Overall, Wild Growth is a great skill for boosting Wildheart's strength while controlling enemies through slowing and immobilizing effects. Wildheart's second skill is called Tumble Furball. She tumbles and charges up, dealing AoE physical damage around herself every 0.25 seconds while charging. The AoE damage is equal to 1.5% of her maximum health. After channeling for a bit, she then charges forward, dealing damage on impact. The initial charge impact deals 4.5% of her max health as physical damage. If she hits the same target again during the charge, the damage is reduced by 75%. The longer she channels, the further the charge distance. This skill makes Wildheart invulnerable to one powerful crowd control effect while charging up or dashing. If she cancels the skill, she gets 70% of the cooldown refunded. The passive effect is that after releasing two, four, or six firehawks from the jungle, she will summon small, medium, or large firehawks to assist in battle. They are summoned either when she hits an enemy for the first time with her charge, or at the end of the dash. So her second skill allows Wildheart to deal AOE damage while charging up in powerful charge attack. She can knock aside enemies and disrupt their formations. Wildheart's ultimate is called Gorge Mobilization. Her pet furball dashes to a target location dealing 450 plus 70 percent of Wildheart's physical attack as AOE physical damage. Enemies hit are knocked up into the air. Using this skill cleanses all crowd control effects from Wildheart and resets her Seedmind's cooldown. 
It also restores Furball to at least 10% health and heals Wildheart for 25% of her max health. After launching in, Furball can fight independently, giving Wildheart time to reposition. Using the skill again, returns Furball to Wildheart's side. The passive effect is that releasing two, four, six bears or cheetahs from the jungle will summon extra allies to join Furball in battle. Their size and stats will be higher on maximum release. Releasing two, four, six Crimson Golems grants Furball Chain Lightning on basic attacks. Releasing same number of Azure Golems grants Furball a stun on basic attacks. Furball also permanently gains 10% movement speed, 30% attack speed, and a 1500 damage shield from the passive. Overall, Gorge Mobilization allows Wildheart to disrupt enemies with Furball's charge and damage. It also serves as an emergency heal and escape tool. The extra summoned allies and buffs to Furball make them a formidable force on the battlefield. In teamfights, Wildheart wants to disrupt enemies and enable her allies. She initiates by using Gorge Mobilization, Seed Mines, and Wild Growth on the enemy backline. This deals damage while knocking up, slowing, and immobilizing key targets. After initiating, Wildheart falls back and lets Furball and her summoned monsters attack the disrupted enemies. She uses Wild Growth again to keep buffing allies and debuffing foes in the fight area. With abilities on cooldown, Wildheart avoids direct combat. She needs to position safely until skills come back up. Her second skill can dodge attacks if focused. When possible, Wildheart moves into basic attack and mark targets for the summons to focus. Her tanky disruption and monster allies make her a formidable jungle team fighter. Overall, Wildheart is a unique jungle tank who relies more on her summoned allies than direct combat. Clearing camps to empower monsters and planning skill combos around releasing them will be key to success with the Hero of the Wild. Her unorthodox gameplay style is perfect for players who enjoy rallying waves of minions to victory. And that's it for today's video. Let me know your thoughts about Wildheart. Is her gameplay fits your playstyle? Let me know in the comment section. Leave a like if you like this video and subscribe if you want to. And as always, thank you for watching.